I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. Hmm. Huh. You see. See what about him? See who's doing it. One of the Best Picture nominees at tonight's Oscars is Killers of the Flower Moon, the true story of white settlers who murdered wealthy members of the oil-rich Osage tribe in Oklahoma in the 1920s. But teaching that history may now be in doubt because of a new state law restricting classroom discussions around race. Mary Alice Parks has the story. Osage. Across the country, Killers of the Flower Moon is one of the most talked about films of the year, nominated for 10 Academy Awards. They're like buzzards circling our people. But here, in northern Oklahoma, just minutes from the Osage Nation, the subject of the film, high school English teacher Deborah Thorson tells me state law makes her too nervous to teach the popular book on which the movie is based. If I were teaching that book, then we'd get to what in society allowed that story to happen. Uh, so... What were the laws at the time? What were the social dynamics between races and genders? Mm -hmm. And you cannot get into that without people being uncomfortable. The 2021 Republican-backed law specifically bans mandatory diversity training and the teaching that any individual should feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or any other form of psychological distress on account of his or her race or sex. It's one of at least 18 similar laws enacted in states across the country that restrict discussions around race and sex in the classroom. Thorson says she would never tell students to feel guilty based on their race, but the penalties around the law are so steep that she backed down. Are you worried that that is the effect of this bill, a whitewashing of history? Absolutely. She's not alone. Around the state, we heard from educators and leaders of the Osage Nation worried the law silences teachers and halts progress. They don't want to feel bad about what happened in the past. Well, I'm sorry. Say that to my great-grandfather who was taken out in the country and shot in the head. I owe it to him to tell that story. Oklahoma's Intertribal Council has called for the law to be repealed. And former Osage Nation Chief Jim Gray says the law could suppress his tribe's history. It wasn't being taught in public schools, but this law made sure it will never be taught in public school because all it takes is one person to be upset about it and they can file a claim. Yeah. Then it's no surprise nobody wants to take that risk. But state superintendent Ryan Walters, who's made a name for himself by often appearing on right wing media, pushing anti trans policies and attacking teachers, insists that the Osage murders can and should be taught in schools. We have had a major misinformation campaign from the radical left and the teachers union on this issue. So the tribes are just the radical left? No, no, no. They've heard it. They have heard that absolute lie that's been perpetuated about it. We believe in telling the full story of American history and the full story of Oklahoma history. What we have said is very specifically, you can't tell somebody that they should be ashamed or feel that way about their skin color or their background. So what, teachers say they don't do that, that no well, one does that. Okay, well, well, you see my point. The Oklahoma Board of Education has already punished schools because of the law. Teachers say it's evidence the law is being weaponized. Regan Kalaki, a high school English teacher outside Oklahoma City, is a plaintiff in an ACLU lawsuit targeting the state. To understand someone else's experience, they have to be able to see things from their perspective. And if we do not allow students to actually step into someone else's shoes and understand the pain that they actually suffered, um, we're doing them a disservice. Oklahoma's Republican lieutenant governor, who traveled to the Killers of the Flower Moon world premiere in Cannes to promote the film, has conceded that what teachers can teach under the law may need to be clarified. But until the law is changed or repealed, Deborah Thorson says she won't risk teaching the book. It feels like we are regressing. I'm not sure what they hope to gain from that, uh, except those who don't know history are bound to repeat it. For this week, Mary Alice Parks, ABC News, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thanks to Mary Alice for that story. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.